Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And in this short video, uh, we're going to just consider, I suppose, the arithmetic mean, the geometric mean, and I suppose what's going to be really important for us is the geometric mean, I suppose, rate of return. It's and this is really where we want to get to, is the calculation of, the, of an average, the calculation of a mean value when we're actually looking at returns, okay? Uh, but maybe just to get there uh, initially, what I want to have a look at is the arithmetic arithmetic mean and the geometric mean okay and maybe we sort of need to we need to define them okay so maybe what I'll define is first of all the arithmetic mean okay so let's say our arithmetic mean let's say x bar a for arithmetic mean is simply equal to the sum of all of our observations divided by how many observations we have and we know this we've seen this so many times this is the definition of the arithmetic mean it's the sum of all the observations divided by how many you have and this is a way of equally par par I suppose portioning out the totality of what we actually have among n groups or n people or uh, actually dividing the totality of what we have up uh, equally uh, n times if that makes sense so this is what the arithmetic mean is actually represents and it's arithmetic it's the arithmetic uh, really meaning that it's well sort of that's uh, we have a summation here of, of everything the geometric mean on the other hand the geometric mean uh, is an alternative way to calculate a mean value let's say x bar g and the geometric mean I suppose is the product it's the product of all of the terms and uh, actually like the way we have Sigma here we actually use it's the product it's the product of all the observations, uh, but it's not divided by how many times we multiplied the observations. It's the product of all the observations, I suppose, raised to the power of 1 over n. So it's the nth root. It's the nth root of the product of all the observations. Uh, let me actually just expand this out a little bit. So this is x bar a, the arithmetic mean, is x1 plus x2 plus all the way through to xn over, over n. Whereas this, in this case here, x bar of g, the geometric, the geometric mean is it's x1 times x2 all the way through to xn. And I suppose it's the nth root of that. So it's raised to the power of 1, 1 over n. That's what we define the geometric mean to be. Okay? And we'll get back to the geometric mean return now, now in a moment. So what I want to do is I want to calculate the, I want to consider a particular example, okay? So let's say for argument's sake that you've made an investment and the investment is, you made an investment of a thousand euros. So let me just do out a schedule here, okay? So what we have is we have a schedule, okay? And let's say time is going down here and here's the value of the investment times zeros. Let's say we invested a thousand euros. And let's say in time one, one year later, okay, after a year has elapsed, let's say the investment, let's say for argument's sake that the investment has reduced down to 500, 500 euros. And let's say after another year, two, the investment has rebound back to a thousand euros, okay? So what we actually have is, this is the value of the investment uh, over, over this particular time period. Now, what we could do is we could calculate the average of these particular values if we wanted to. Uh, we could calculate the arithmetic average, okay? The arithmetic average x bar, x bar a is simply equal to the summation of these values, okay? So we want to calculate the arithmetic average value, okay, uh, of, the, of the investment. Uh, well, it would be 1,000 plus 500 plus 1,000. Which gives uh, divided by three, which gives us well, what's that? That gives us one thousand five hundred, two thousand five hundred divided by three, two thousand five hundred divided by three, gives a value on average. On average, uh, it was eight hundred and thirty-three euros and thirty-three cent is what the what the investment's value was uh, at uh, on average across these three particular these these three uh, points in time. Okay. Uh, alternatively, the geometric, the geometric average, x bar g, uh, would be, well, it's the product of all of these, so it would be uh, 1,000 times 500 times 1,000 raised to the power of the nth root. How many of these have we got? We have three, so it's the third root, okay? So it's the third root. So in this case here, x bar of g, the geometric average would be, let me just work this out. It would be 1,000 times 500 
times 1000 okay that's a very big number but it needs to be it needs we need to get the the third root of it okay so it's raised to the power of 1 divided by 3 okay which gives us a value of 6.5 